Welcome back. We have another mead review today. This is the Denkst Mjord Viking Blood, which is a mead I've seen on the shelves many times and heard about, and finally trying it. Let's get started. All right, so in this review, like I just said, this is, I'm probably saying it wrong, but the Denkst Mjord uh, Viking Blood or blood, however you, however you want to say it. This is Nordic honey wine with hibiscus and hops added. Um, it says based on a recipe from about year 1700. A little more information about it. It's got a whole thing on the back. I can show you some info, but the, the serving suggestion uh, says serve slightly chilled in a wine glass. Uh, you can also serve over ice with fruits at room temp in a port wine glass or as an excellent dessert wine or a winter warmer. It's got lots of uh, versatility, to say the least. So we're gonna go in and get a pour. Today I'll be reviewing, just like a tell you what I think review, but also I will be giving this a quote official review. I have this right here. This is the score sheet that I use for lots of mead reviews. And I will be filling that out. So to start, the color on it, is a nice like orange, kind of amberish, kind of hard to see, I'll get out of the way. It, uh, not, not very clear. Not when it points in the clarity department. Of course it is cold, but that doesn't mean that it can't be clear. Hmm, it looks pretty, I mean, the color's nice, it's just not clear. Okay, what's the smell? A lot of hibiscus, a little sweetness on the nose. I will say that, uh, also mentioned, this is 19% alcohol by volume, which, I'm, a, I'm fairly certain this is fortified, meaning that instead of them naturally getting up to 19% with yeast and step feeding and all that, they have added some alcohol, whether it be, you know, whiskey, uh, anything like that, essentially a, a harder alcohol to fortify it, to get it up to 19%. Now, what kind of alcohol? Alcohol did they add? I don't know. Very hibiscus-y, very, uh, I mean, it's got a little hop character. I don't, I get like sweetness on the nose, but it's not super identifiable as um, honey, just sugar. A little bit of, um, a little bit of wildflower-y kind of side. The nose is okay. Let's taste it. Ooh, that's very sweet and very hot. When I say hot, I mean not like temperature hot, but like, alcohol heat. If you are somebody who's only ever drank maybe like lower ABV beers or ciders or stuff like that, you won't really experience heat with those. This kind of heat is like uh, high alcohol from whiskey, from vodka, from a spirit of some sort. Very sweet. The, the sugary side is not like, it's got a little bit of honey-ish note to it, but it doesn't fully taste like honey sweetness. The body on this is very, very thick, very full. Um, so I get a lot of hibiscus from this. I get a, maybe the tiniest bit of hops. It's got kind of like a, a little bit of a little bit of a berry-ish flavor. The traditional Viking blood mead recipe has gone back uh, years and years and years. And uh, actually, my my friend doing the most has a very good video on it, um, which I'll put down below, and he has a recipe for it but it traditionally uses some mixed berry and some capacity. This doesn't have any mixed berry, but I do get a little bit of dark fruit note from it. Um, if there is dark fruit, it's not claimed on here. So I get a little bit of that. Ah, it's just so sweet. The, the fortifying alcohol tastes a little bit like a whiskey or something like that. It's got some interesting, like, not, not scotch. Scotch is way identifiable. Anyways, I can't, totally put my nose or my taste bud on the fortifying alcohol here, but it's it's hot. All right, so I'm gonna do my official, air quote, official review. This is uh, a paper that I created with some notes on it. You have color and appearance, nose bouquet, flavor, finish, honey character, mouthfeel body, um, totaling up to 70 points. I've done, I've used this sheet for a lot of meat reviews. So I, uh, I have a whole other channel of mead reviews on the Man Made Mead Extras channel. This would normally go out on that, but this one's kind of extra special because you might see it in your local store. So let me go ahead and take care and start this review. All right. 
right, I have finished my paper review. I will go ahead and show you a picture on the screen as I tell you what I've rated this. Um, and yeah, so a total of 70 points. Here we go. I've rated this pretty critically, to be honest with you. Uh, color and appearance, five out of 10, not very clear. Clarity is not the end of the world, but I do think it matters because I've had meads that clear really well that look nicer than this. Five out of 10, not clear. It's a nice color though. Nose bouquet, nine out of uh, 15. Very sweet and bright, lots of hibiscus, definite heat on the nose. It just isn't very, it's okay. It's like kind of pleasant, but it's just not that great. I want more like honey floral. I feel like I'm getting just so overwhelmed by the heat of this over everything else. Flavor, seven out of 15. So sweet, not totally from honey. Hibiscus is bright, some hot flavor. It's very hot, it has kind of like a medicinal side to it that's just not great. Yeah, this is, it's not super enjoyable to drink, I'll be honest. I, this is a 750 bottle, and I don't know that I'll finish the bottle because it's not great. Um, finish, four out of 10, hits, <laughs> hits hard, lots of alcohol, dissipates quick. The, the flavor part dissipates pretty fast. It just doesn't really linger, doesn't have a lot of development. When you drink a mead or you try a mead, you really want a flavor that develops and kind of goes goes places where at some points maybe the sweetness from the honey pops out more and then the berry or the hibiscus everything gets its like turn this is just like a flood of things in your face and then it's gone and it's a little bit overwhelming honey character presence six out of ten somewhat there but feels like it has another sugar other than honey with this being fortified they could have simply kept it with honey but i don't know it it feels a little weird to me the sugary side is is funky. The mouthfeel body on this though is, is very nice. It's eight out of 10, it's big bodied, has a great feel. It lingers, that lingers well. That feeling in your mouth, but the taste of it dissipates. It's very awkward. So in total, I gave it a 39 out of 70, which to give you reference, I've tasted things before that have made it up to 63, 64, I think, is the highest I've given. This is not great. Is it worth trying? Yes. Will I ever tell you to not go out and buy a mead? No. Am I gonna say that this is the like end all be all, you have to try it? No, I don't think it's great. And if you guys are watching Denk's Mod, Denk's Mjod, I don't know how you say it. Um, I think it needs some tweaking. This recipe is a little funky to me. I, I think you're leaning a lot on hibiscus. You, the 19% coming from a fortifying method is overwhelming and uh, it, this needs some time to meld. So, not great, but if you're able to get it and try it, please do. It's an experience. Uh, every single mead you drink in life gives you an experience, whether it's, uh, hey, I want to go and recreate this, or hey, I don't like this, or hey, I like parts of this. You can learn from every single mead you drink. I have a whole other YouTube channel of mead reviews called the Man Made Mead Extras channel. You can hop over there and find a plethora of other ones. I will leave a Google sheet link down below of all of my mead reviews and my scores. So you can see where this one stacks up to the rest of them. It's not gonna be very far up there, I'll tell you that. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you again for spending the time. Go buy some mead, make some mead. Support your local people and have a great day. Cheers.